right? Yep. All three. Okay, we, 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 we got to do the uh, the right introduction music for this here. Are you guys ready for this? Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I am. Here we go. Oh, oops. Okay. <laughs> That's me that I have a lot of Is that great? Yeah, can I come over? Yeah, I can come over. Yeah, I can come over. Yeah, I can come over. Oh, it's, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, something. Okay, we're here with the one and only, <laughs> Mr. Only, Scott Rosma. <laughs> Such as it is. Morning, Scott. I think we should talk in the Superman, like the superhero voice. You know, you ought to you'd be real surprised. This is the entire theme of the show that was never played on the air. Oh, really? You'd be surprised at the guitar rift in the middle of this. Oh, so, oh, so we got we got to wait for the guitar riff. Boy, it rocks. Yeah, it rocks. <laughs> it does. It rocks. This, this, com this comic song rocks. <laughs> Some heavy duty uh, trumpets and everything going in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, crank it, baby. Hey, great. Oh, we're rocking today, aren't we? Oh, Wonder, yeah. Okay. Wonder Woman would be jammed. So, so what, 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 what <laughs> one is this to? What was that to? That was the original Super Friends theme. Yep. But it's, it was the entire theme that was written by, uh, uh, what was his name? Um, Hoyt Curtin was his name. <laughs> and he, I thought you were going to say Hoyt Axton there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Could have been. Yeah. Now, Hoyt Curtin was a, uh, a, a, a producer, a music producer for all of the Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Super Friends and Johnny Quest and Super and Space Ghost and all that. Super Freak. <laughs> super <laughs> Freak, yeah. Freak. Well, yeah, Rick James wrote a couple of comic uh, things. Too. Okay, <laughs> Scott, before, before we tell everybody who you are, and because and, I know a lot of people already know, but uh, we're going to go to the phone because we might have an answer here, guys, over there at Thunderbolt Gym. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Hello? Okay, go, go ahead. What's your answer? That's one. Uh, you're, you're real, real hard to hear you. Can you can you speak up a little bit? Okay. Yeah, that's two. Uh, I think it's in Sergio Naive. Something like that. No. No. You're close. But you got two. Got two. Got to figure out the last one. What do you think, guys? That was I awful. think that's two out of three. That's, that's two out of three. Awful. That's awful close. I know. Come on. Well, if somebody knows all three... Yeah, but he just gave him two. <laughs> Okay, right, Lou yeah, Ferrigno. Yeah, but those are two easy ones. Franco Colombo. Okay, Ferrigno, of course, is the Incredible Hulk. We knew that. Um, and the third one he didn't quite get, so we're, we're not going to give it to him? Can we give him, can we, we'll give him a booby prize then, right? Booby? What? what? Oh, sure. Annette? Hey, I'm not going <laughs> anywhere. I'm right here. Hey, families are listening to this. Take it easy. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Nick just said it's close enough. All right, there we go. Nick, Nick gives it to you. So hold on line. Wendy will get you. What, what, what was your name again? Okay, you must be on like a cell phone or something because you're like real distant. But anyway, uh, congratulations and thanks for calling in. And uh, you're on your way into Thunderbolt Gym or what? He's obviously calling in from that, that where, where? Uh, telephone company south of the uh, Muskegon County line. Yeah. yeah. If John says with the GT T-shirt on. <laughs> By the way, the one he missed was okay. Serge. Newbray, Newbray, Serge Newbray, Newbray. Lou Brigno, Serge Newbray, and Franco Colombo. Oh, Greg Roberts. <laughs> uh, yeah. In your wildest dreams. Yeah, okay. So he <laughs> cleaned up, cleaned up after. Then you woke up. <laughs> doing those 12-ounce curls. But he won, he, of course, he won the month's membership <laughs> at Thunderbolt Gym. He's also doing those 300-pound leg lifts. Yeah, the more you drink, the lighter it gets. And you know what? It takes a lot to maintain this body. I have you know I'm the number one dancer for the Chunky Bills. It's like 12 meals a day. <laughs> hey, you, you and Scott together could do a heck of a dance, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I could be in the middle. I'd be glad. I'd be nice because I'd be kind of a little guy. Well, I don't want to get caught in the middle. The only real one. Oh, no. Tom is funny. Dance floor big enough. I think. Dance floor big enough. Yeah, <laughs> or strong <laughs> enough. Yeah. Strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scott, you're about what? Six, three, six, two? Six, six and a half. Six, and, six foot and a half. I got yeah. caught in six, a sandwich. Six, six and a half. Six, six and a half. Yeah. I got oh. caught in a sandwich dance one time between Greg Roberts and a guy by the name of Todd Peckle, and Todd's about as big as Greg. He might be bigger than Greg now. Well, actually, actually, uh, it, it bruised my ribs, and uh, I think Brian looked bad after the after his deal at the landmark. <laughs> Who's is this, Bill? No, this is John. I have That's you John. know that I am a hey, thick, Scott? stout fellow. Okay. <laughs> stout, stout. Yeah, he looks like Guinness. That's pulling it mildly. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but but more like a Foster's can. 
Oh, yeah? At least my face looks pretty nice right now. Oh, geez, you guys are going again. <laughs> hey, Scott. Yeah. This is Bill. Oh, Bill. How you doing? They're pretty good. How are you doing there? Pretty good. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, yeah no doubt. And I can't see you now either. <laughs> and lucky that you can't. <laughs> lucky been, for you. you. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, is there a reason you're there? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, yeah. Actually, there is. Could we hear what that is? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to do that, but thank you, Bill. <laughs> Scott Rosema, of course, uh, comic genius. As far as I, the guy, the guy is excellent. I've seen some of the X Men work you did, the Batman work you did. Right. Now, what, what do you, what's your what's your project right now? As far as comic books, are you working on comic books or? Well, uh, first, I, I, Bill. Is yeah. There? Yeah. Uh, the only reason I'm here is my my car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you need a ride? <laughs> After I'm done here, Oscar's going to give me a ride back. Yeah, okay. No, actually, the the very latest project I'm working on is uh, uh, is a huge uh, Scooby Doo project of all things. All right, really? <laughs> Scooby Doo, right? Now, is this going to be for television? No, well, I, no, it'll be for the uh, it'll be for a, a giant col a series of coloring books. Oh, okay. Huge series, but it's funny she's mentioning uh, television because that's another project I'm possibly working on, okay. and. Uh, no, is that is that also for Scooby Doo, or is that, that for something else? No, actually, this is going to be even more exciting than Scooby Doo, and I know it's hard to get more exciting. No, wait a minute, I love Scooby. Oh, no, I know. I mean, between I'm Daphne and Velma, can't Belma. get more exciting than the Doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you tell us what it is? Uh, uh, how far does the station reach? Uh, no, it's, almost I know it goes down rapids. the block a couple ways. About halfway to Milwaukee. All right, that's <laughs> <laughs> actually that's right in the middle of Milwaukee. It also goes to Finland. It also goes to Finland. Yeah, must be a very Europe. I must yeah. be encouraged you know your signal drops off halfway through Lake Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're very big with fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, uh, you, you guys might have seen my Space Ghost comic I did. Oh, yeah. Nice. Back. yeah that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, and actually I have some here with me today. And I'd give you one, Bill, but you're not here, so sorry. Well, actually, I, 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 I show it to you. I need to talk about something because I'm still looking for a couple of uh, prints here that I want to have framed. Oh, okay. Well, I can. You might remember those. we talked about that about, about a year ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I just conveniently you know, forgot. The shadow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, actually, the. Uh, uh, <laughs> which, uh, which Batman issues were you involved in? Well, actually, I was involved in uh, some Batman coloring books and some special storybooks. You wouldn't find them in the comic book rack. Okay. So you have to find them like uh, through specialty outlets and stuff. After and, for about four years there, I collected a tremendous amount of comic books, including Batman. So. Oh, no kidding! Yeah. It's got you know for people who don't know, how did you get started in all this stuff anyway? When did you get started? Oh, uh, well, I professionally started around 1989 or so, so it's been almost 10 years. But I've been doing comics all my life, and I decided around late 80s or so I was getting tired of having all the professional comics pass me by. So I said, well, enough of this, I'm going to get into it. So. I just submitted some samples to big companies and went to conventions, and eventually they looked at me and said, okay, listen, if we give you a job, would you just leave us alone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you be right? Persistence pays off. Yeah. Is but it's actually... you had a natural ability for growing up and so forth? Yeah, I, I, always, I always seem to be drawing. I mean, uh, right around the age when kids usually kind of fade away from drawing, I was getting even more crazy with it. I mean, just crayons and markers and on the walls and on the floors. Right. And, yeah. Just never stopped, and just evolved into a lifetime of doing it. Now, well, you know, most people when they when they think of comics, you think of the, the character itself. But I mean, as far as just the some of the detailed background scenes that you draw in the, in the comic uh, comic books and stuff, it just it amazes me because you got to get the you got to be pretty much an engineer to get the, the actual uh, well, curves I've always, right. And I've always contended anybody can draw a comic book halfway decent has got to be one of the best kinds of artists. Now, that doesn't mean me necessarily, but anybody who can draw. A story involving characters, which means lots of expressions on faces and backgrounds that are correct looking, buildings in perspective, and cars mm -hmm. that look like cars. And it, it takes a lot. I mean, you have to literally know how to draw everything because you never know what you're going to end up drawing. Like, well, who knows? Uh, Greg might even appear in a comic I'm going to do sometime. And I got to make sure I can draw him correctly. Right. He's already got a big enough head. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Ooh. Hey, Scott, uh, yeah, for a second, let's yeah. talk about uh, uh, comic illustration as an art form. And for th those of you who did not see Scott's exhibit at the Muskegon Museum of Art, it was truly oh. impressive. When is your next one? That was all rocks. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. great. Uh, but, yeah, that, that, that went over incredible. I mean, they, they had uh, the museum had a great turnout for it. And well, they held it over, didn't they? No, yeah. actually, they but they did they did plan for it to run two months, which is usually a month longer than most exhibits of right. that kind. Okay. So that was that was really impressive for me. I mean, I just it blew me away. But everybody seemed to enjoy it <clears throat> quite a bit. So I was, uh, as a matter of fact, that's also something else I have here too. 
the uh, I have some free giveaways of the uh, poster that advertised that very show. Oh, really? Last year. Okay. Well, I want you to autograph cool. one of those for me. I'd like it personalized. <laughs> <laughs> but keep it clean. You know, well, I have a family friend. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be extra, Bill. That'll be extra. <laughs> I, I have a question. What do you think about late night Space Ghost? Okay. Space Ghost Coast to Coast? Yeah, Coast to Coast. Goofy. Goofy is all get out. Is it? I, I don't mind it. It's great that the, it gets the Space Ghost character out there in front of people. I mean, kids nowadays uh, who who never even seen the original Space Ghost right. cartoon and you know love the character and know all about him. Uh -huh. But it's not the classic adventure show that I love. Okay. And that's what I'm involved in now. Okay. That's well, a secret well, Scott, special project I've been hinting at here. Oh, okay. Scott, what do you think uh -huh. about South Park? I, so, you know, I've heard all about that. I've never seen the dairy. That's because we don't get it on the Skagen cable TV. Yeah, I, I, I'd love to see it. Last week was yeah. hilarious, but anyway. Those little characters look like little buttons or something. Yeah, I mean, it's not, yeah. it's not, a, not a drawing thing, that's for sure. It's all oh computerized. Oh, my God, they killed Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again, yeah. Kenny died. I think I got, last, week, last, week got, last week he got killed three times, I think, what it was. But anyway. Uh, Kenny's got a hard life for a third grader. <laughs> <laughs> but now, what, what about that as far as some of those comics? I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, because the, the, these things are just drawn by, I mean, I could draw these characters, you know. Well, it's like South Park and stuff? Yeah. Well, I, I just, it's, it's fascinating that, that somebody can take something that simple and make it go. I, that's really all part of marketing, though, really. Right. Uh, what? What's going on? What's going on out there? No, I just like that comment, something so simple and make it Well, if you've seen South Park, it is oh, yeah, very, very, right. very rudimentary. Yeah, it is. Well, Beavis and Butthead, that, that was a big, yeah. big well, success, and that was very Beavis simple. Beavis and Butthead yeah. looks genteel, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For all of the Hanna-Barbera cartoons, Super Friends and Johnny Quest and Super and Space Ghost and all that. Super Freak. <laughs> Super, Super Freak, yeah. Freak. Well, yeah. Rick James wrote a couple of comic uh, things there. <laughs> okay, Scott, before before we tell everybody who you are, and because I know a lot of people already know, but uh, we're going to go to the phone because we might have an answer here, guys, over there at Thunderbolt Gym. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Hello? Okay, go, go ahead. What's your answer? You'd be real surprised. This is the entire theme of the show that was never played on the air. Oh, really? You'd be surprised at the guitar rift in the middle of this. Oh, so, oh, so we got we got to wait for the guitar riff. Oh, yeah, it rocks. Yeah, it rocks. <laughs> it does. It rocks. This, this com this comic song rocks. <laughs> Some heavy duty uh, trumpets and everything going in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, crank it, baby. Yeah, great. Oh, we're rocking today, are we? Oh yeah. Okay. Wonder Woman would be jammed. So, so what, what? 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 What is this too? What was that too? That was the original Super Friends theme. Yep. But it's, it was the entire theme that was written by uh, uh what was his name? Um, Hoyt Curtin was his name. And he, <laughs> I thought you were going to say Hoyt Axton there. No, no, no. <laughs> could have been. Yeah. Now, Hoyt Curtin was a uh, a, a, a producer, a music producer. Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh, it's it's great, isn't it? Isn't it something? Okay, we're here with the one and only, <laughs> Mr. Only, Scott <laughs> Rosma. Such as it is. Morning, <laughs> Scott. I think we should talk in a superman, like in a superhero voice. You know, you ought to... Right? Yep. All three. Okay, we, 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 we got to do the uh, the right introduction music for this here. Are you guys ready for this? Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I am. Here we go. Oh, oops. Okay. <laughs> That's me that I have in my hair.